Okay, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rob Palmieri, and I look forward to our discussion today about flipping the script on community college marketing. Uh, my background is in enrollment management and research, and I've spent about a little over 20 years working with and for community colleges uh, and trying to assist them. I think it's more important than ever uh, to clearly distinguish community colleges as a sector in higher education. Now, given the demographic shifts, uh, higher wages being offered for entry-level positions, uh, a growing sentiment that questions the value of higher education and competition from other colleges and online institutions. However, you know, in my experience, I've found that some of the prevailing marketing strategies that highlight general branding or name recognition and the student experience, uh, overall student experience, are not as effective for community colleges. So I wanted to look for a new approach, and this started by a um, series of interviews with faculty and students, uh, and focus groups, and specifically, at Fulton Montgomery Community College, we introduced a new marketing approach that focused on careers and career pathways. Uh, essentially, what can you do with that degree? Um, how much money can you make? Are there jobs available in the region? And this came up through some of the research that we did. And we found actually that it appealed not only to adult learners, but prospective students overall. And careers and the career pathways approach was focusing on the end result, the value and outcome of pursuing a degree. Uh, it elevates the promotion of your academic programs and certificates and not just general uh, a promotion of your college. So you want to focus on those that those programs that lead directly to employment or advancement or for those programs that lead to employment after uh, transferring to, to a four-year degree. Uh, it's going to be more important when you see some examples of what we've done with uh, the website, the new website design. In essence, uh, it brands community colleges as the career preparation resource in the communities. It's a much bolder uh, approach and, and and it really does fit the community college mission. So through this uh, career pathways approach, uh, along with the implementation of strategic enrollment management strategies, uh, enrollment grew for the first time in eight years at Fulton Montgomery Community College. Uh, in addition, uh, in fall 2022, it was one of the only community colleges in New York that did not show see a decrease in adult learners. So before I talk about some of the examples in this, I wanna just uh, uh, talk to you about the implementation of this approach. It really requires the focus on strategic enrollment management principles. And this is both an art and a science, but the for recruitment and marketing, the admissions funnel or the enrollment funnel is a really good example of good framework to utilize where every stage of the funnel has a deliberate communication and engagement strategy uh, with the ultimate goal of getting student, uh, prospective students to enroll. Uh, for marketing, the top of the funnel, or the prospects area is what you wanna focus on, okay? Um, and this is about building awareness and capturing prospective students' attention to showcase the life-changing benefits of a 10-year college. Uh, ultimately, with the prospect stage or the awareness stage of marketing, the top of the funnel, you're looking for someone to raise their hand. Uh, you're looking for prospective students to, to reach out to you, to complete a form, um, to, to, um, to go to a recruitment event. Um, so that's the kind of the ultimate goal on you. Each, each stage, like I said, you really want a strategy for. And you can identify prospects through various ways. Like with digital, you can look at online behavior if there are prospective students interested in college. Uh, you also can purchase lists. And one of the things I would recommend is that colleges, if you don't, you should be purchasing lists in your service area. Uh, those lists you've probably heard before are high school graduate lists. Uh, they could be parents of teenagers, but you could also purchase adult learner lists, those students who have a high school degree or some college. And you want to try to engage them through digital, video, but you also can do email communications, physical mailings. Um, one of the cool things you could do with digital, if you have their addresses, is you can geo-target their home addresses, and everybody in that household would get ads focusing on careers, things of that nature. So I want to just talk about, uh, show you some examples of what a career uh, 
pathways approach looks like, and, and then um, we'll go from there. Okay, so here's some examples of, of different ads that are focusing on job skills and better jobs, the outcome of getting a degree. Uh, where we landed with uh, Fulton Montgomery Community College was great jobs without great debt. So you're really focusing on the distinguishing features of the career, but also uh, the price point and the differential and, and the cost savings that you have. Obviously, with social media, you can actually expand, have more content, but this is just general kind of ads. What's, what's different about this approach, though, is that you also want to incorporate academic program and certificate uh, ads within your overall campaign. So for adult learners, one of the things that uh, you can do is focus on the flexibility, uh, which we heard about today of uh, their online weekend, something that fits in their life, uh, evening courses, also accelerated, uh, if it can get done quickly or micro credentials. Um, and you wanna kind of showcase different ads of different programs. Um, and this goes a little bit about, some, at least in my time, it goes counter to, um, prevailing marketing strategies that only focuses on the college, the general college. And I think it's really important to actually sell the programs as well. So one of the things that is, is important is this is a trial and error type of a focus. Sometimes you'll see um, ads don't work, uh, at least digitally. If they're not resonating, you can change them up. That's the beauty of digital ads. Digital ads and video should be your main foundation for your marketing campaigns. Obviously you could do other traditional advertising as well. But some of the things that, you know, looking at putting students, graduates in their internship areas or in their places of a career is a good, you know, creative way of looking at it. Um, I also, we've talked about partnerships. Community colleges have the advantage of partnerships with, with employers to actually incorporate that into the advertising as well for their career. Um, one of the things I, I did want to talk about as well is, you know, with the um, a narrative, that unfortunately that community colleges have is to, but I think we need to recognize it. Um, that, you know, it's misguided, but you know, that community colleges are somehow inferior to a baccalaureate education or 13th grade or uh, not a real college. And I really think it's important to combat that with broader, uh, I mean, bolder um, and more assertive ads uh, that really stand out. This is a good example with, with the focus on Amazon. Um, at Fulton Montgomery Community College, we also focus on, hey, you know what? We have we have programs that lead to really high paying uh, starting salaries. And we've tried something different where we basically put that out there uh, to grab people's attention. Uh, again, it's trial and error, but it's part of the, um, the art and science of strategic enrollment management and marketing. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, just a video. I think this encapsulates kind of the idea of the career focus. Uh, it's, it's a short video that we did at Fulton Montgomery Community College. See, the focus really on this is, is to focus on the programs to, you know, to elevate the programs, as I said before, and the, and the, and the certificate programs in your marketing. Uh, another great video that they, that they came up with was like, you know, and this is another priority is to uh, look at your graduates and make sure that you are interviewing your graduates, um, where they go, uh, their places of work. So the partnership between industry and businesses and, uh, and your alumni this is a really uh, powerful video as well. It's pretty cool graduating college and three weeks later, you're walking into the career that you wanted. We're gonna need a thousand new people over the next five years. That's technicians, that's engineers, people with hands-on skills, people with problem-solving skills. The robotics course, the clean room course, and just the fundamentals for electronics all apply to my job today. I've been here 10 years and I've worked my way to the top of my position. So there's definitely room for growth no matter where you start and where you want to end up. 
it fits me to come to here from FM because it's right here. You think, well, where's all this high tech stuff going on? It's in your backyard. The degree there can take you many places that aren't that far from Fulton County, from Montgomery County, upstate New York. When I come to Global and I tell someone I went to FMCC, they know that I'm getting taught exactly what I need to know to work in the semiconductor industry. If you're planning on working at GF, it's a fantastic program to take. They really walk you through the entire process. So with, with videos, you can actually track how many uh, people complete the video and watch it. Uh, you can even obviously can track uh, ads and what resonates, how many people click on it. So you really should be tracking those type of metrics. But the goal, the whole purpose of a more bolder focused career pathways marketing approach is to get them to your website. Your college website is, is the foundation for your marketing uh, and campaigns and your marketing structure. And it's really important to build your, your website from a strategic enrollment management approach, which is the enrollment admissions funnel and make sure that you capture, um, you know, those different stages in there. Uh, but I think it's also important that the career focus has to be right on the homepage and, and make, it a, make it very clear and to the point this is about careers with a career preparation uh, community college of your community. Uh, one of the things I also want to show is we're actually in production of Fulton Montgomery Community College's uh, website, uh, where what you have to prioritize, or I would strongly recommend prioritizing, is your academic program subpages. A lot of times, looking at hundreds of college websites, the, they have a very engaging home pages, but then when you click off them, they go to very text heavy, and 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 you know they don't really have the focus of of the engagement and the visual marketing that you would have from your homepage. Uh, in essence, I believe that you should be making your academic program and certificate program pages like your homepage. Um, so some examples. So this is uh, just right off the bat, you know, you could search your programs, um, but you can see in some of the navigation is it's a simplistic, sim simplified or streamlined navigation. Uh, not to get into too much detail, but ultimately your faculty, your staff, and your current students really should be kind of directed towards a portal, which they have my FMCC, and that your, your college website is a marketing um, focus, and, and it streamlines the, the, the choices and not being so complicated, especially with adult learners, not having so many choices. Um, but this is an example of right off the bat, some career um, focus or the program focus. Almo Colleges does a great uh, search engine. Right off the bat, you can career, you can search for careers and it points you in the direction of what programs they have in, in various campuses. So one of the things that we've seen is that the you know, your academic programs are, are on the front uh, and they cluster them into different groupings. You don't want to have, I mean, some schools have hundreds of programs. So if you can cluster them into different ones, it helps uh, organize them. Similar situation focusing on careers and the different types of uh, uh, programs or, or clusters or, or categories of, of, of programs as well. Here's what we're uh, working on at Fulton Montgomery Community College is to have like program spotlights. And I think when we talk to students specifically in focus groups and in interviews, they want to know how much money uh, you can expect to make. And so I thought it was really important to, to showcase that as well. Uh, you know, this, uh, and we'll talk about the actual academic program pages. We get into more detail with that. <clears throat> The partnerships with, with industry, uh, like that video you saw, we also uh, kind of incorporate that. But also, if you look at the bottom, um, we use logos of companies in our region uh, to showcase that we have those partnerships. Uh, and I think that visually helps as opposed to just typing them all out. Also, transfer. You know, I don't want to forget this. You know, this, a lot of our students obviously start uh, their career, but they want to transfer on. And so our main transfer colleges as well. This is the homepage focus. Okay, and then so from there, um, one of the things is to, if they do click on a certain uh, a program page, it goes. Uh, this is an example of a sub page of an academic program page for business administration, and right off the bat, I believe or I, I suggest that you do a call to action where they can request information. You want, definitely want to have that uh, as a as a focus. You want to get them to become an inquiry or an applicant. Uh, it, it, this is less text, it's just focus, but it's really organized in a way and take, it just takes a lot of time to do, but the big focus uh, is to what type of jobs can you get with this degree? 
And with business administration is a transfer program. So we, we, we you know, we, we uh, want to focus on what you can get after your bachelor's degree and show them uh, the type of jobs, how many jobs there are in the area, uh, the responsibility of those type of positions, the most common. Now, ultimately, there may be numerous jobs for a certain program. We're just showing the most common ones that are there. But we also showcase some of the uh, employers in the area that either hire our graduates or have the potential to hire our graduates and really to show that pathway. Same thing with a transfer program. We also want to show here's our main transfer uh, programs and colleges for each academic program. Uh, and here's the majors that they typically go into. And visually showing it through, so like I said, the logos. Other ways to organize your information, internship opportunities, dual admissions, micro-credentials, so just a different way of like kind of really thinking about not having so much text, but keeping it organized. You have your ability to have videos. Uh, one great thing that Fulton Montgomery Community College has been doing is, is they have videos for every single academic program and just keep it fresh. Uh, if they have a recruitment event that's related to an academic program, um, they also have that ability to highlight that as well on these pages. You want people to come back to the page and, and see that there's different things all the time. Uh, highlighting the faculty members as well is something that we did. Um, at this point, I thought it'd be good to um, stop and maybe take some questions. Um, I could also show, if we have time, I'll showcase some of the what we did with the enrollment related pages, because I think it's also important to do uh, to showcase that in a very digestible way. Um, I guess we'll go from here. Okay. Hey, Rob. Hello. So I have a question. Um, so may may take me a second to find my way to the question. So so driving access is obviously you know critical, especially given recent enrollment declines. Many community colleges care quite a bit about this, um, but we can also recognize that access alone doesn't create the kind of social and economic mobility that you know you need to to demonstrate the value of in the marketing and so I'm just curious if if any of this work with the college that you showcased or other colleges that you've worked with have not only led to kind of kind of showcasing the value to students but actually ends up having an impact on the way that the programs are designed or policies are implemented on campus is there any connection to um yeah, other other reform efforts. Um, well, I think one of the things that they had at Fulton Montgomery, they have a unique program as individual studies, at least in New York, it's unique, where you can actually be very flexible and you have half of the credits could be like an internship and half could be uh, course related. So they, they are able to mold a program around what the student comes in with. So if they have life uh, experience credits or military credits, they have ability to kind of to work it around. But this is fairly new approach. And, I, and as, as I mentioned, the marketing of career and focus was something that we did prior to fall 2022. And since then, the college has um, purchased and invested in a CRM to help with their business processes. And uh, a new website that you saw examples of is going to be launched uh, late summer, early fall 2023. So, Yes and no, but I think one of the things that I, I can say is that when we did focus groups and we did interviews of, of students uh, as well as faculty that that this had overwhelming support and and you know and, and it wasn't just adult learners. Um, I, I think I think a lot of times where I feel like community colleges need to be a little bit more um, assertive is is to show that this is a great alternative um, and that showing what you could do with a degree is something that a lot of schools, don't do um, or if they, they do it they bury it um, it's important to show that you can get these type of positions uh, good or bad it could be a position that doesn't have a huge uh, uh, salary for example but at least you're being honest and upfront that this is what it leads to and it's not all about salary it's also that are there jobs in in the region um, and that's what's so beautiful about i think to 
finish off the question that you had. With marketing, they were doing a lot more focusing on asking their graduates and their alumni and their students and to actually showcase their experiences and make that a priority. And I thought that was a good way of helping with marketing. Um, yeah. Do you want me to stop sharing? That might be a good idea. I see, I do see a number of questions in the in okay. the chat that we can either queue up for you or you want to go ahead and scroll up to Stacy's question. I think that's maybe the first one. First one on there. How often do you uh, suggest to update or, or stay fresh and current? I think this has to be a priority of, of something that you have to do uh, continuously. Um, and I think gathering um, stories, I think it has to be something that's just part of, it has to be an investment that you have to do. So, um, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't say you have to do it every, every week, but it's something that you should do monthly where you have a schedule of some type where you are uh, updating things all the time. Um, guidance on length of homepage. Yeah, I think um, in terms of the length of your homepage, I mean, it's, it's open and it's a scrolling generation in some ways, but I don't think it should be so long. It should be pretty, um, pretty short for the most part, but you do want to put in what distinguishes your college in there. Um, what do the employer partnerships behind the ads look like? Is FMCC getting higher wage data from specific companies sharing their employer recruitment video clips for your use? Um, so some of the employer partnerships, like the one you saw with that video, um, are, are, are closely linked with the college. Some of the employer uh, partnerships were based on uh, other resources that we use. Um, there's there's different types of sources, like Department of Labor. Um, I think Career Coach, for example, has uh, the different people who are hiring in your region. So we reached out to them uh, as well to showcase their logos. Um, but they have a great business and partnerships uh, office that they 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 wanted to, that they are highlighting. They work with a lot of uh, companies. Okay. Do you have any other thoughts on how to address the perception about community college being somehow an inferior option? Um, well, you know, honestly, I, I, I've been thinking a lot about this over my time, and I, I feel like the best defense is a good offense. Um, and to and that's why I think marketing is so important to try to change the narrative, but also say, hey, this is 13th grade, for example. We have people who are making $50,000 a year to start with a two-year degree. Um, I think you need to get that messaging out there. It's not just that, but it's just it's just the, the focus that we are here to help prepare students for careers. Um, and honestly, the interviews that you do with graduates, and, and, and that, you know, that's the biggest uh, draw is that be organic. Um, you know, listen to your, your, your students, uh, your faculty, and get their voices out there. I think that's really important. Um, you know, people are not going to be sold on uh, shiny new things with marketing. It really does need to be uh, real um, and authentic and having those stories, videos of, of your uh, former students, graduates is, is important. Okay. Um, do you get feedback from students on the marketing efforts? What does that process look like? Yes. So what we, um, I think that's probably one of the most important things to do is to test out different ads. So we um, we did some interviews. I've, I've interviewed in different schools um, and, and did focus groups of, of students. And I kind of uh, came up with kind of the career focus in a lot of ways, which just makes sense. Um, but it, I think it's really important that you do want to test your ads. Um, some things that I've seen in other schools is that you don't want to run the same ad all the time, especially digital. You do want to incorporate different types of ads and see what resonates. Um, and I thought we did focus groups of classrooms um, uh, with students and just asked them, especially about the website um, and, and you know, what they wanted to hear. Some of the feedback we got, we incorporated. Like, uh, for example, instead of just showcasing the different types of jobs you can have, um, 
you know, we were, they want to know what, what, what does that job do? So we, we wanted to put a little blurb of like what the responsibilities of that job are. Uh, that was one example, but yes, interviews and, and focus groups is something that we should prioritize. Um, okay. Um, for adult learners, there there are I, I, you know there are uh, schools of thought where they have a specific landing page for adult learners, which I think is is perfectly fine. Um, for for this, we didn't we, for Fort Montgomery Community College, we did not do that. Um, you know, we basically have uh, a call to action on every um, academic program page, and I can showcase maybe. Um, Oh, I got another question, um, but you can do that. I guess it's the question. Uh, you can make it very specific, but we really streamlined it and tried to answer like a lot of the questions that adult learners and students in general have. Okay, uh, a hand up for Bria Roberts. Um, yes, thank you. I just had a question regarding um, some of our adult students who may have been formerly incarcerated or who were system impacted or just as impacted, I'd say. Um, what are some things you might suggest that we can include in the um, advertising that you share that might communicate that this is still a safe space for that particular population? We seem to lose them really quickly, like faster than other system impacted individuals. So do you have any suggestions about that? So you're talking about people who are currently incarcerated or since are no longer incarcerated? are no longer incarcerated. So some of them often get out uh, maybe some months before they land upon us. We already have a support program. We do um, advertise that support program, but um, I, the impact time, or I guess the connection time to services, like if it's, it seems like if it's not that same exact day, we run the risk of losing them. So my question is, how can we attract them and communicate that this is a safe space and that we do still have the services to get them connected fairly quickly? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things with that funnel that I talked about is that if you have, you know, marketing is obviously more general and then you want to kind of go down that funnel. Um, if you have their information, if their email or their, their address, you can really kind of get more personalized in your communications and emails. So, you, you know, you can convey having more of a safe space and, and different support services, you know, in your communications to them and engagement, if that makes sense. Um, you know, that's one option. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you can't do everything in marketing. You know, it just, it's the whole essence of it was just to get people to raise their hand and say, I want to learn more. And then when you go down that funnel, you can actually personalize. That's the beauty of using a CRM, for example, a, a, a customer relationship management system, is that for different populations of students, you can make a whole messaging campaign just for adult learners um, or or if you know certain data about them um, or information about them i would say it's more intelligence about them you can have different um different information about certain programs or different support services eop trio things of that nature or uh support services so you could do that by by just knowing a little bit of and more information about those those populations um that's what that's really what a crm does and you can have multiple different communications going um, to people. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, one more questions, I think. Um, so Rob, I think there was a question that you might have missed in the chat. It said, do you get feedback from students on the marketing efforts? And what does that process look like? Uh, I did answer that, but yes. Um, oh, you did? Uh, okay. Yeah, so. uh, you know, I, think, I think it's important for, and I know it's hard for community colleges with, with limited budgets, but if, even if you could do focus groups of classes, uh, it's good to test out your messaging. Uh, you know, And I think if you're prioritizing the collection of information uh, or collection of stories of students who graduate and their success stories, uh, that's always a good thing to, to incorporate. Um, any other questions?
Oh, uh, there is one. Okay. Our college is doing a lot more with social media in the last few years, which is within our budget and connects with younger adults. The problem is that adult learners don't necessarily use those same platforms. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you have to use social media. I think I think digital ads, digital videos, those things have to be done. I don't think you can uh, not focus on it. It is an investment. As I mentioned earlier, you can identify potential adult learners by purchasing lists or, or through digital means, and you can target them with that. Um, so that's one possibility there. Um, but it is, it's amazing that just geotargeting uh, certain addresses or certain businesses, so they get certain ads sent to them. Um, I hope that answers your question, but I, that that's probably the hardest thing. But it, the one thing I would say <clears throat> is that the competition out there is 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 in your backyard a lot of times. So it's, it's really important that community colleges uh, incorporate uh, a more extensive marketing approach. And, and, I, and I think digital and video is really important to, you have to have that foundation because um, it is an investment. Okay. Anything further? Do you want me to showcase, um, I could showcase a couple more web pages that are not, that are more the enrollment related, just to kind of give you an idea of how um, the entire website should be kind of designed. Okay. So I'm going to sh share my screen. Can I share my screen again? Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, so a couple more things that we did, you know, is, is to really start thinking about anything that's related um, to students going through that funnel, uh, applicants. I think it's really important. A lot of schools that I've seen bury or they put the whole list of all the different fees and, and tuition. And you don't really know how much something costs. Uh, so this was just an example of an estimated cost where I we broke it down by different populations of students. Um, so it's not lost in the shuffle. Um, and this is this approach that I think is really helpful. And I think we'll put community colleges on the map is, is to, to start thinking through this. Even with financial aid, a lot of it has to be there for compliance purposes. I totally get that. But you can organize the page uh, with video and breaking, the, breaking it into uh, expandable uh, menus, so you don't have to overwhelm people because a lot of times when you look at some of these pages, it's it's just I, I, I it's too much. Uh, adult learners or just you know first generation students in general. Um, one of the things you know, for the admissions page, I always thought it was good to show the different types of credits that you can receive: transfer, military, life experience, credit by examination. But just this is just an example of not putting so much information, but giving you good information. Um, so, 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 you know, in one spot, um, as opposed to, I said, a lot of people, a lot of schools, uh, and not just community colleges, but a lot of colleges are very text heavy. Um, focus on career services. Since this is about careers, it really should be, these pages should be um, a little bit more focused on what you actually can provide and place job placement, internships. Um, Transfer is a big part that you definitely want to showcase transfer and instead of just list of all the transfer agreements. You want to kind of make it organize a little bit more, uh, show your big transfer schools, but also that you have this other transfer schools as well. Um, and those are just examples of. Um, that's everything. Okay. Hey, so Rob, I believe we are at time. I think we're actually over time um, at this oh, I point. Apologize. Oh no, that is uh, that that is no problem at all. As as someone who's in marketing, and I'm sure for other folks on the call who are in marketing, um, in terms of the information like that was shared, it was all great, and I think you gave us some great tips um, as well. So I want to uh, so I want to thank you on behalf of uh, Achieving the Dream and everyone in the chat for an, an awesome session. Um, and for everyone, uh, I believe this, uh, I believe all the presentations uh, from today are gonna be emailed to you. So again, um, enjoy the rest of your day and I thank you all for attending. Chris, one more thing. Yep. Um, so I, I, I also 
wrote um, an article, I think will be coming out in the next month or two uh, that has this more in more detail um, because it is transformative, I think. And it also, uh, I think it'll help a lot of psychologists. Great. But thank Great. you so thank you so much for your time. It. All right. All right, everyone. You take care. Thank you.